Namaskar. Good morning, friends. Today I'd like to talk about how to reduce your sleeping time without feeling tired or grumpy during the day. Sleep, like eating, procreation, and fear, are, is an instinct. And the more we give in to them, the more they can control us. The good news is that with a little bit of effort, we can control instead of being controlled by our instincts. For that, the yogic lifestyle is very, very useful. The practices of the yoga exercises, the meditation, the vegetarian diet, fasting, some of the yogic dances. Through these regular practices, we transform ourselves. By transformation, I mean our bodies become very light. Through the daily practice of yoga, the body becomes very flexible and agile, and regular meditation removes worries and fears and that constant chattering going on inside the mind. In my own case, about 15 years ago, I decided I wanted to reduce my sleeping time. I was sleeping about six hours a day and I wanted to reduce it and use the extra time for practicing meditation when everybody else is sleeping. I saw that my colleagues had done that and I, I found that was a very great idea. So from six hours, I reduced to five and a half, kept that for a schedule for one month. From five and a half, I reduced to five, kept that schedule for a month. From five, I went down to four and a half and kept that schedule for a month. And from four and a half, I reduced to four and decided that would be the optimal length of time I could use for keeping my you know, good health and well-being. Actually, it's worked out very, very well. And I've not had any difficulty. Rather, that extra time I could use for meditation um, has been very, very helpful. The yogis talk about waking up in the Brahma Muhurta. The, Brahma Muhurta means the hours of Brahma, the Supreme Consciousness. That's between 4 and 6 a.m. It's because between 12 midnight and 6 a.m., the whole body shuts down, except the pineal gland, the uppermost gland and the top of the head. And similarly, in the midday, when everything is very, very busy and active, in the midnight, everything's quiet, calm, and the mind is biologically introverted, so it's a very good time for meditation. So, you know, these practices of the, the yoga, the meditation, let them be over time with the regular practice, our bodies and minds slowly transform themselves. So what may not be possible in the beginning becomes very possible over time. Here are my takeaways for reducing the sleep time. First is to keep our bodies light. Light body can be achieved by eating light food. The vegetarian diet is is, is the yogic diet, and it's a balanced one. However, it may change according to climate and weather condition. But generally, light foods would be considered something like fruits, vegetables, raw food, nuts, seeds, vegetable soups, herbal trees, and so on. Second is vegetable, second um, takeaway is the regular practice of yoga, at least half an hour every day, and up to 30 minutes um, to practice. The regular practice of yoga makes our body very flexible, agile, and free from disease. Third is regular practice of meditation. Anywhere from 20 minutes to 60 minutes, depending on your time availability and how much, you know, how long you've been practicing. The regular practice of meditation, well done, removes worries and fears from the mind, makes our minds very light. Fourth is fasting at intervals. In the case of single people four times a month, family people twice a month, fasting I think is the most effective way to make our bodies and minds light. By the regular practice of fasting, we clean the body from the toxins that, that come into it through our food or through our water, through the air. And when the body's clean, it's, it's like a perfectly running machine full of energy, agility, supported by a positive and concentrated mind. Fifth is avoiding foods which make our, our bodies heavy. Meat, fish, eggs, very fibrous foods, foods containing a lot of sugar or oil. Our digestive system has to work very hard to digest these foods. And so that same energy could be utilized by the mind for meditation and, and higher mental and spiritual pursuits. Sixth is selecting good company. The yogis call this satsangna. 
Satsanga means the company of people that are trying to consciously evolve themselves, physically, mentally, spiritually. So examples of satsanga or good company would be attending collective meditations, singing songs together, attending collective spiritual discussions. On the other hand, avoiding negative discussions, discussions about crude topics, or social environments like drinking pubs, crowded cinema halls, that would tend to make our minds go down. And the seventh takeaway is learning to let go of worries and fears. The best way to do that is through surrender. And in yoga, there are two practices for surrender. The yogic dance called kirtan. This helps to let go of worries and fears from the mind. And after meditation, to offer the thoughts and feelings of the mind to the universal consciousness. These two practices make our minds very light. And the eighth takeaway is a little bit of vigorous exercise every day, fast, uh, walking, uh, jogging, running, the yogic dance called Tandava. These uh, vigorous exercises stimulate our, our circula circulation, improve our cardiovascular system, and are ideal complements to the soft, gentle exercises of yoga. So sleeping less is part of a healthy, holistic lifestyle. Other components of that lifestyle include having a very positive and concentrated, uh, positive um, optimistic outlook towards life, an abundance of energy throughout the day, minimum need of pills and drugs, having an abundance mentality, seeing the glass always half full instead of half empty, an openness and friendliness towards others, and embracing life's problems as challenges that improve our, deep, our, our personal growth and deeper understanding of ourselves and of life. So, this holistic, healthy lifestyle of yoga, the more we practice it, sleeping less and these other components, they become very natural to us. It's not something that is imposed. We shouldn't impose sleeping less. It's a natural, gradual process. The more we purify our bodies and minds through yoga, meditation, and related lifestyle practices. Thank you. Namaskar.